The man responsible for a five and a half hour long standoff in downtown Mobile is dead. That man not identified yet shot himself in the head and died at the hospital. We've been on air since the story broke this morning. Yes, it's been a long and difficult day. We want to go ahead and catch you up on all of the details of this dramatic and tragic story. First on five, the man responsible for a five and a half hour long standoff in downtown Mobile is dead. The man not identified yet shot himself in the head and and died at the hospital. Let's walk you through a timeline of some of the key moments of today's standoff. Around 1045, our first crew arrived on scene. They watched as an armored SWAT vehicle got into position. Around that same time, the Algo traffic camera downtown showed the massive police presence outside Government Plaza. Then around noon, we watched a remote controlled robot deliver a phone to the person in the car as negotiators worked for hours to try to get this to end peacefully. Around 245, we saw the rear passenger window blown out. Police say from the person inside firing at officers. Just minutes after he fired that shot, he opened the rear driver's side door and got out holding a gun to his head. We widened out the camera as he stood there with that gun to his head, but moments later he got back inside the car. Around 315, the armored SWAT vehicle moved in to pin the person inside the car. Now they did this because he moved into the driver's seat. There you see it go. Minutes later, as SWAT closed in, police say the man shot himself in the head. First responders then moved in to render aid. They placed him in an ambulance. No officers were hurt during the standoff. 